Today, there is a gentleman. Uh, after having seen how to test uh, uh, timing uh, delays and uh, the movement on the circuit breaker, we will now see how to measure the resistance of the context of the circuit breaker. As you know, our CBA 1000 has the unique feature of uh, having inside both the capability of testing times, but also a powerful um, micrometer that is capable of delivering up to 200 amps on the contact. And uh, thanks to this uh, feature, we can measure the resistance uh, of uh, these uh, contacts. Uh, the test of uh, the contact resistance is uh, quite uh, straightforward. You have to use our big cables So, this is cable number one, and for instance, I want to measure the contact resistance of this pole, pole C. Or better, I start with pole A, a and then you can see. One, one, two. Of course, cables get twisted. Okay. These clamps are rated 1,000 amps, so no problem for the test. Now, what do we do? It is very simple. We inject a very high current into the closed contact, and we measure the voltage drop across it. How do we measure it? With this other cable. It is a shielded cable. And the cable goes to this connector here. Okay? So, the idea is that you should get as close as possible to the contact itself, uh, because otherwise uh, all uh, the drops that you may have in between uh, is measured uh, as contact resistance. Uh, so a clamp here, you see, uh, I clamp here, this one, and here this other one. I connected the black uh, to the black uh, and red uh, to the red. Uh, even if uh, it is not so important, okay? But it is uh, just a little bit safer. Then uh, I connect uh, my connector here. There is a red spot uh, that I have to fit here. And here we are. Okay? Now let's perform the measurement. I go to menu, and then, uh, well, I could uh, even uh, avoid it. I go to micro ohm here, okay, it is uh, disabled, or I can uh, perform the static contact resistance measurement, okay? For instance, uh, uh, well, the first uh, setting that you have here is uh, the current for the test, the current that you use for the test, and the resistance range. Now, I know by the manufacturer that the resistance, the nominal resistance value, is in the range of half a million. Okay? So, I select 200 amps, but here I have to select 1 million, because if I leave 200 micro ohm, as the resistance is more than that, of course, the measurement cannot be performed. <coughs> In this case, anyway, the test set uh, alerts you. The measurement is uh, pretty well consistent. Um, I will show you that uh, performing the same test at 20 amps, uh, that is one tenth, uh, the resistance measurement that we perform is uh, the same. Now, I can just perform a, a, a resistance measurement, by the way, you can use it also to measure joints or other things. 
uh, given the fact that it is a circuit breaker, then I select here test on breaker phase. As I do it, uh, I have here a table, you see, with uh, one, two, three, four measurements per phase. Okay? So, now for instance, I am measuring phase A and the, the measurement is on contact number one. And uh, that's it. Uh, I am already ready to press start to uh, in initiate the testing. Okay, now it is ready, it is telling me press start for testing. I press start. There is uh, this bar here telling me that uh, uh, the capacitor that we have in inside is being charged. The idea of the test set is that we have uh, a lot of current to be injected. This would be uh, too much for a small test set like this. So we charge a capacitor slowly and then we suddenly discharge it into the closed contact. But, but we don't just apply a voltage. We have also a circuit that is controlling the actual current and it is applying a steady 200 amps or 100 amps or 20 amps current into the test object. Okay? Now, I have started the test. Uh, it is telling me that uh, it is, uh, uh, the test has been performed uh, injecting 200 amps, uh, that the voltage drop has been these millivolts, and so therefore the resistance is 676 microohm. Okay? Now, I want to show you that uh, uh, I actually um, have uh, the same uh, resistance value injecting a much uh, smaller current that is for instance 20 amps. So I say that now I am testing A phase 2, uh, contact 2, okay? Then I come here and I say 20 amps uh, with 10 milliohm range, okay? Now I press start, again my capacitor being charged, Okay, you see, 0601 instead of 0676. So, practically speaking, the measurement is the same, even if the test current is much less. Okay. As I have tested the phase A, I could continue with phase B, B1 for instance, okay. Then, of course, I have to move to contact to phase B and then to phase C, and they can perform the test on all phases. Is this all we have? No. We have a very, very important feature that we only can have on this kind of test set, and it is the dynamic resistance test. Let's select it, and I will explain you what it is about.